Hello, everyone, and I'm going to do a fairly quick review of Rhino Linux. I've never tried it before, but it looks pretty cool, given the screenshots and the theming. I like it. So what is it? It's Ubuntu-based, and it's a rolling release, which is pretty cool, but it's also based on XFCE, so it's not going to have Wayland. It's going to have X11, which kind of like, I don't know, doesn't slow things down. It just... I don't want to say it makes things less secure either, but it's going to be faster as far as memory usage anyways because XFCE doesn't use much memory. So being that it's running X11 isn't that big of a deal, in my opinion. So let's look around. What is What do they talk about? Uh, you know, what do they stand for? It reinvents the Ubuntu experience as a rolling release distribution built on a stable desktop environment. Packstall is at the very heart of the distribution, providing essential packages such as the Linux kernel, Firefox, and distinctive Rhino Linux applications and theming. So yeah, I, I, I see the theming. I just installed it. And I'm going to minimize this browser window in a second to jump to the VM that where I have this installed. They use sane defaults. It's used for its stable and rock solid base, the XS, XFCE desktop. Packstall, which I want to know more about, is their package manager of choice, will always provide the latest software. That's cool. So let's jump in. So you got this thing called Rhino Drop. You know, is that, um, you know, like their own implementation of a file sharing thing, like how Mint, Linux Mint has done? I don't know, but I, I, I never heard of it. Let's close this browser window. And here we are at the desktop. So it's pretty snappy. This is not on a bare bones machine. This is on a virtual machine and it runs really well. And when I finished installing it and ran all the updates, this launches. This is like their little welcome screen. And, ooh, it just kind of chugged out on me there. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So now it's going to a choose a color scheme for your system. I like the one we have. And it's kind of doing a weird lockup on me. Am I going to release this video? I don't know. Will, will we finish? Okay, so I like Flatpak. I want that turned on. And Snap, I do not want. I love how they give you the image right out of the box. It's kind of like when you're running Ubuntu and you want to get rid of Snap, it's kind of a mess. And this is just like, okay, you don't have it from the get-go. And I like App Image. I want to be able to launch App Image containers. Okay, let's click Next. Let's forgive this because this could be because I'm running a virtual machine. Nala is a very fast... Um, package manager, uh, front end, I believe. Oh, yeah, it is front end to apt, yes. And it's it's awesome from what I've heard. Cool, so it's going to apply the changes. If I have to restart, I will reboot the machine and pause this video. All right, so it just had me do a quick reboot. The theming is done, I guess. And now I can just click around and see what this operating system has to offer. You can ignore this VMware tools. This will not be on your machine unless you're running it in, in VMware like I am. But I like right out of the get-go, right out, of, right off the bat, it offers the delete option similar to what Linux Mint has where you kind of skip the recycling or the trash bin. So you go to delete, that's gone. That's it. That's a cool addition. I like that. So now I'm going to click on your system. We'll see what that brings us to. Oh, it brings us to my actual processor in my desktop computer, which is a 12th gen Intel. Cool. And you can see it's VMware is the board because that's what's emulating the motherboard for this to run on. And system upgraded. I'm not going to click that because I've already updated everything. Uh, we got a terminal. And I did type this when I installed it. This is the command to see if you are running X11 or Wayland. It's echo space money sign XDG session type. And you can see that's running X11. Of course it is because it is XFCE. It can only run on X11, I believe. Maybe somebody can prove me wrong, but I, I pretty at least the last time I checked. VS Codium is installed out of the box. I love that implementation or that customization on VS Code because it apparently gets rid of the telemetry, telemetry that's installed by default on Microsoft's package. So that's really cool. So let's click it and see how it runs. Opens up really quick. Not sure if it's a flat pack or what, but it launched very quickly on a virtual machine. Let's go to File Manager. 
I love the purple theming. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't look like hard to read or anything like they're trying to be flashy. It just looks nice. And I don't know. I'll take it. I like how it looks. And let's go to the application grid. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way my they are laid out. It makes it look like there's a million things. But also they're all on one screen. So that's cool. Everything is right here. It's got mail reader. Let's see what that is. Choose your preferred mail reader. That's interesting. So it just it doesn't have one installed, but it says choose your preferred one. Maybe that's just the icon it will use once you install a mail reader, and you can obviously select the default, similar to setting your default browser. This is cool. I've used this Celeste before. I think it even works with pCloud, which is uh, one that I use, but I prefer to just use the actual pCloud client in Linux because they make a great Linux client. If you haven't checked out my pCloud Linux review, um, pCloud overall review for Linux, Mac OS, Windows, I talk about it. It's on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. Uh, we got time shift out of the box. That's cool. It's a great backup sort of system restore snapshot utility, if you will. I love that. Uh, we have Firefox Stable. That's nice. I can sign into that. I use Firefox Sync. I actually love it. Uh, we got text editor settings. Oh, cool. So let's go look for the actual text editor. Oops, text. So we got mouse pad as the text editor. So we can do show line numbers. Let's try this out. Oops. Line two. Okay, show line numbers. Oops, I just clicked out. It's instant. Okay, cool. Display white space. Display line endings. Oh, that's cool. I like this. I don't think I don't know if I've ever used mouse pad. Cool. It's even got plugins. Spell checking. Of course I'm gonna use that. I can't spell. Yep, it, it works. All right. Very nice. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we got. We got display our desktop switcher. That's going to be. Let's try it. Okay, yeah, you can just drag it over to where you want to move which desktop you want to move it to. Okay, cool. Works well. Simple in XFCE, not too flashy. Search bar. Let's type in, um, let's do VS Codium. There it is. You can launch it instantly. All right, let's go back to the application. Let's see what Plank is. I'm assuming this is the, the, the uh, customization on top of XFCE that gives you this dock. I think I've heard of Plank, but I, I didn't know it was still around. Okay, cool. You can go to Documents. We got this up here. It's like Mac OS-ish. You can pretend this is your Apple icon, and you got the option to log out, restart, shut down, switch user, hybrid sleep, hibernate. Cool, I like how everything's there. You got the calendar. If I double-click a date, does it bring up anything? No. It's just a calendar just to check the date. Presentation mode, I'm not going to mess with that. I think that might lock the screen so it doesn't go to sleep. And we got settings up here for Power Manager. I love this. This is like what I have to dig for in Windows still nowadays, is the power settings, especially Windows 11. But right here, it's still right up front. They keep everything you need here. Vantum Manager. Let's see what this is. Comes with many themes, but external themes can be used for... Okay, cool. I don't want to mess with that just yet because I could break something, but that's worth checking out. That's why you got programs like Time Shift where you can take a snapshot and break something and revert. System Profile and Benchmark. Oh, this is cool. It's got like the CPU-Z feel to it. I gave this virtual machine 16 gigs of RAM. You can see that here. I like this. It's like a free version of CPU-Z. Okay, what else do we got that stands out? Mouse and touchpad. I like to set that to, you know, inverted scroll when I'm using a, a laptop. I might use this as a test to see if it could be a daily driver. I don't know if XFCE could be my daily driver, but being that it's really light on resources, I do love that. Let's, instead of the plain terminal, the XFCE terminal, let's try this UX term. It's got my history in here that where I typed in the session type. Okay, cool. I don't know why I need that one as well, but we've got the image viewer restretto. That's a great one. Screenshot. This is great to take a select a region screenshot. 
so fast. I just love it. I don't remember having the host on Imgur option, but that's pretty cool if you want to do that kind of thing. What else do we got? Panel, sensor, viewer. What is that? Oh, okay. Tachometers. Okay, I don't know. I don't know enough to. I'm, I feel dumb. I don't know what that is. Uh, task manager. Let's see how much RAM we're using out of the box. Can't maximize this. One gig. I've been opening tons of stuff, and it's still only using one gig of memory. That is awesome. Okay, so this this is this is great. If it's at a gig or under XFCE, it should be. This is pretty good. But I mean, watch how think how fast things launch now. It's almost like they're still on RAM. Like, this launches instantly. Uh, XF dashboard settings. Let's try that. Reset search, switch, enable animations. It's not the uh, mouse wheel changes workspace. Oh, wow. I don't know if I want to mess with that. Let's try this. Um, I honestly don't want to mess with this right now because I could break something again, like I said earlier. But let's go to click on XF dashboard and see what that is. Okay, so that's... Okay, let's hit escape. Yeah, that's something I don't want to mess with now. just want to check and see if it brought up another app that I wasn't using. Hmm, we got application finder. I did that. Appearance. Let's go back to that. This is going to be the easier way to... Let's try Yaru. Oh, cool. Looks like old school Ubuntu. I like that. Now, if we go to File Manager, is anything changed? No. So we're going to go to Icons. Let's change that to Yaru. Very cool. This is fast. You know, I'm loving this distribution. I really am. That it's a, that it's a rolling release. That it's using Nala as the front end to apt package manager. It's just fast. Like everything, even on this virtual machine, updated instantly. So um, I hope this video, you know, kind of shows you something that you haven't tried yet and maybe you want to try it out. Maybe you like it. Let's click U Launcher real quick just to make sure. Yeah, that's that same. Okay. I'm a cat. I just saw a laser, you know, I'm just like, oh, 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 what's this over here? This is your media player, your system. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything important. But I feel like it gives me a good base install on things I could use. Application auto start. I mean, you could just go to town and add stuff here. <laughs> just Or just remove things that you don't want starting up. I kind of like my browser to auto start. I know that's really cheesy, but when I go to work, I'm working out of the browser a lot during the day. So I could use something like that. Thunar file manager. Very, you know, it's like the default in XFC, I believe. So that's cool. It runs fast. It's got templates. Like if you wanted to go to create document based on what's out of your template folder, I could go in here and create a document that's going to be a common layout that I use. Let's let's say, um, you know, my, my billing hours that I would bill a company, right? And those hours, oops, I did it wrong. I did a directory. Wow, nice job. Let's go back to create document. Billing hours. Okay. This is something I like to show people because I think this is really cool to have out of the box. And this has been for decades or at least 10, 15 years available in Ubuntu distributions. I'm going to start like, you know, Monday, 8 to 5. You get the, you get the point, but um, I'm not going to do this for everything. But pretend you have your whole layout here of Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And then you just jot down what you did for the day that you're going to bill for your hours. So now I could go anywhere like even here and go to create document billing hours it creates an empty document i could even add to it and i can name it billing hours with the date go in there and just start editing editing my hours fixed a computer i don't know i'm not really repairing computers nowadays but <laughs> um okay so i go in there i can open this up there's the text i edited I go create another one for next week. When I come back next week, billing hours, you know, February. And, and it, you know what I mean? This is really handy that it's available in the shell of the operating system. I could go in the music folder and create it. It's there. It's global. 
I could do a bunch of these templates. I could do Word documents. I could do anything as the template. And that's cool that that's available in XFCE. You don't need a heavier desktop to do that. Okay, again, I hope this was informative. Thank you, and please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you can, if you like the video. If you don't like it, I understand. Just request something else I could make a video on, and I will try to do that. Thanks again. Bye.